Hello everyone. Welcome to this edition of You Need This Crystal. This crystal is called Purple Tourmaline or Cyberite. And today we will be using the moonrisecrystals.com moonrisecrystals.com website for information to get more acquainted with purple tourmaline. Okay, so I am accompanied today by my Zen candle, white ginger and amber, setting the mood, checking out purple tourmaline. Hope you can see the color, it's really pretty. Maybe over here. Maybe I shut my light off. Oh, there you go. A little bit more purplish. There we go. Pretty good. Here's their version. Tumbled, etc. So, purple tourmaline. What is it? What does it mean? Deep serenity. Feel securely grounded in the earth and in complete alignment. Achieve empty mind and physical ease in sitting meditation. Reduce PTSD symptoms and false fight or flight impulses. Release judgment and be open to new ideas and discoveries. Let purple tourmaline strengthen your spirituality. So it is purple. I'm thinking third eye, crown chakra. That's just me based on what I've learned before. Healing properties of purple tourmaline. Purple tourmaline has an incredibly serene energy. Like all tourmaline, it is deeply grounding and protective. However, purple tourmaline takes that deep security even further and grounds it deeply into the earth beneath us, then raises it through each chakra all the way into the upper crown. It facilitates remarkable zen-like meditation. Zen. Okay, why did I even mention that? Okay, there's a synchronistic thing going on. It facilitates remarkable Zen-like meditation as well as a deep relaxation and trust in the divine. Purple tourmaline is attuned to the root, heart, and crown chakras and linked to the astrological signs of Libra, Scorpio, and Taurus. It is connected to the element water and earth and vibrates to the numbers one, two, four, and five. Emotional benefits. Purple tourmaline can be used to explore the roots and ramifications of our belief systems, both material and spiritual. It has an extremely calming vibration and can help reduce PTSD symptoms such as compulsive thinking, reliving memories. Purple tourmaline encourages us to get out of fight or flight mode, which is one of the most primitive parts of the brain, and instead to think clearly and constructively. It reminds us that we are safe and can relax. Holy crap, guys. So I am facing a health issue. I have to go for surgery uh, next week. And it is all that I can do to be distracted, try to keep calm, stay positive, um, look towards the future, getting over this hump. And purple tourmaline looks like a wonderful stone to hold in my hand as I close my eyes and meditate and calm myself. So there is a rhyme and reason for everything that comes into my life. So amazing. Mental benefits. Purple tourmaline is exceptionally helpful for releasing emotional attachment and viewing the world from a relaxed and non-judgmental state. It is highly recommended for anyone working in the physical sciences because it encourages us to look beyond our preconceived notions and to be open to sudden insights. Physical benefits. Purple tourmaline is said to help reduce headaches and migraines. It is most commonly used to reduce PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Always use wisdom when considering crystal therapies for healing. Okay, that is 
moonrisecrystals.com. That is their recommendation. Interesting. So I just read their healing message. Then they have a mineralogy, mineralogy of purple tourmaline. Hardness 7 to 7.5. Wow, I like this. Okay, let's see what other kinds of information we can get. The most important tourmaline deposits are in Brazil. Additional deposits are located in Afghanistan, Australia, India, Italy, Madagascar, Malawi, Mozambique, Myanmar, Myanmar, Burma, Namibia, Nepal, Nigeria, Pakistan, Russia, Sri Lanka, Switzerland, Tanzania, United States, California, Maine, Zambia, Zaire, and Zimbabwe. I like that. It's a silicate mineral. Silicate minerals are the largest family of minerals. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Synonyms to purple tourmaline are cyberite and rubellite. Now, did I, do, I want to say I did a video on rubellite, which I have right here in my little crystal basket. So that's my rubellite raw. This is purple tourmaline. Well, I guess it's raw too. I feel like they're a little different, but maybe they're just in the same family. Maybe they're cousins perhaps. So let's see. What else do they have? So that's a little bit of the mineralogy. Then they have history. Okay. Ethical sources. Uh, safe handling. Description. Reviews. Okay. Interesting. Comes in many, tourmaline comes in many different shades. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh. History. Pliny the Elder, a Roman author, naturalist, and philosopher, may have described tourmaline in his lapidary, The Natural History of Precious Gemstones. Interesting. Okay, so moonrisecrystals.com has some really nice information if you want to dive deeper into the origins and uses for purple tourmaline but um, hopefully this has given you enough information to know that this is purple tourmaline and you need this crystal. <laughs>